Chesterfield have a free kick on halfway. It's played early. Kinsella should be able to head that back to the keeper, but he doesn't. He heads it the other way. Rowe heads it back into the path of Mandeville. An unusual choice there from Kinsella. And in comes the shot. It's comfortably saved down to his left by Mitch Walker. And the first shot of the day comes from that man, Jeff King, who can go and get a little touch on it and maybe give all the shot a start to this game and to this season that nobody expected. Kinsella with the ball in. No contact. Beats everybody. No. Comes just off of a, a deflection off a Chesterfield player. Now, Jaden Harris is on this. He could deliver right-footed. He runs up steps and Kinsella plays it on the floor. Shot comes in. Into crowded air. Followed oh. up by Edson and wide. But that was better. That's the way to take a free kick against the side full of big centre-backs, Mark. And brightness again from Aldershot. Potentially some more debuts there at some point today. Here's Gunning lifting the ball over the top. And it does beat Kinsella. And it's played back inside by King. A little flick down. Rowe gets the ball right-hand side. Puts the cross into the far post. Headers up from Shimanga. It's over the bar. And I think Fowler and Loco in there with him. Did enough to put him off. Don't know the final sales figures. They were having to get their tickets before today. Oyaliki's played short. Oyaliki's got the ball at the moment. He's being buffeted by Willard. Comes inside. Little ball round the corner. Ball squared and tapped in. Offside. And it's offside. Jamie Grimes was up there. A good move from Chesterfield. Neat, simple, one touch. Resulted in a tap in for Jamie Grimes and it's off side mark uh, we can't obviously see the line from there with the other half no but, and uh, it, if it was offside it was very very tight uh, very well worked Manny Oliiki winning the ball playing off the front man round the corner to um, Clark who's just come on like you said very Grealish like wow and the pressure will be on at Stockport as Aldershot rob the ball and win it back but they've lost it again Kinsella it was now Jack Clark picks it up tries the ball through to Shimanga one touch to get it out of his feet he's going to try a shot now skips inside on his left side shoots it's parried by Mitch Walker comes back out King with a shot is parried Chesterfield but just what all the shot needed because the last couple of attacks have been all Chesterfield and they, they've hit back with one on their own Kinsella with the corner in swinger left footed oh powerful header comes in from Craig Phillips and it's wide just as he was about to gather it in. Ball inside for Danny Rowe and a great tackle from Cody Lyons Foster. Oh, now Jaden yeah. Harris into oh. Corey Andrews and back out to Harris. Ball into oh, the yeah. box. Willard. Oh, oh. <coughs> one touch to stop it. But as he went to prepare for the shot, out came Scott Loach. But what a lovely movement that typified those three youngsters for Aldershot Town. Fantastic counter-attack from Aldershot there. Harris feeding. Yeah. Feeding Andrews. Andrews round the corner to Harris again, who fed Willard, who he nearly got, got his shot off half-blocked and nearly got the second attempt. The goalie just jumped on it. A great counter-attack from Aldershot, but just shows, again, in transition. Shot from Danny Rowe from distance, just like you said yeah, he would do, and yeah. just wide, Mark. Yeah, there From is. nowhere. Your old side, South End, is still 1 0 up. Wrexham still 2 1 up at Solly Hull. Here's Jack Clark oh, breaking really lines like here. on the edge of the area, cuts inside and then oh. falls down, claims a penalty, doesn't oh, get it. And then pen. there is a penalty. Oh. And good refereeing, and I'm afraid to say he's got it spot on. And uh, the first foul on Clark wasn't a penalty, but the ball then carried on out to Jeff King. And Jeff King was brought down by, I believe, Giles Phillips. The referee still had his eye on the ball and he gives the penalty to Chesterfield in the 71st minute. It's a penalty to the visitors here. At the East Bank end, we're in the 72nd minute and Danny Rowe, who's done this time and time again, steps up and Walker gets a hand to it, but it finds the net and Chesterfield have the lead with 19 minutes left from the penalty spot. Order shot down nil, Chesterfield one, Mark Mosley. Yes, again a Grealish run from Clark caused havoc on the edge of the box and it, was, it wasn't a foul on him but he drew a, a tough tackle but the ricochet fell. But ironically it's he who's been fouled to win the penalty mm. that Danny Rowe has tucked away. And... Uh, He's been replaced by uh, 
uh, George Carline as Chimonga, Chimanga looks to burst through the middle, does well, one side then the other, and he buries it, and ultimately, for all Aldershot's efforts, it's the two strikers that have undone them, Chimanga neat footwork into the right-hand side of the penalty area, and then a low finish to Walker's right. All the shot town nil, Chesterfield two, Mark. Yeah, it's Tishimonga's game. He's been searching on the shoulder all the time. I, again, <coughs> his turn of pace is short. The power, the turn of pace for him to spin and get the, the wrong side of the all the shot defender. They'll be disappointed there because it looked like they were going to win the foot race. But again, his pace, his power, he wriggled free, got away and got his shot off between the keeper's ankles. Give you uh, nine or ten minutes or so as we creep towards time added on just to pick your order shot down man of the match for the mm. BBC listeners if you can please. Chesterfield coming again on the right hand side here. Clark involved on the edge of the area. Beautiful ball in. I'm not sure if it was a cross or a shot. It very nearly crept in at the uh, mm. far post. Goal kick to order shot. And when he tur real turns, he realises he got space. That space quickly shut down by Agipong and Oxlade Chamberlain. Yeah, yeah. And the referee, Tom Bishop, yeah. who I have to say has refereed the game excellently, actually. I think he got the key decision right in my book. Yeah. Uh, brings the game to a close. It's Aldershot Town nil, Chesterfield 2. Uh, tough result to take, but a performance with quite a few green shoots for, for Danny Selmont. Yeah, plenty of positives out there. I think the only thing that will frustrate him is probably the the lack of clear-cut openings that they made through all their hard work, but a real organised performance, full of endeavour and energy, but probably just lacked that cutting edge, unfortunately.